Well, under the microscope this week, it is the Infiniti M35X. Now, this car is a bit of a perplexing personality to me. If you took everything that it has as an asset and put it on a list of paper, 5.1 Bose sound, beautiful interior, craftsmanship, 300 horsepower under the hood, and an intelligent all-wheel drive system, you might think, this car is going to grab your heart. Well, for some reason it hasn't, and that's what I'm perplexed about. I got to know why this car hasn't made me all excited. We're going to take a closer look right now and find out. This is the M35 from Infiniti. Well, we popped the hood open to the M35, and it's a 3.5 liter dual overhead cam V6, 303 horsepower, and 262 pounds feet of torque. It's mated to a five speed automatic transmission with a manual shift mode. Now, in the world of my engine cover conspiracies, well, if we lift this up and look right there, well, that's kind of like the ugly girl with the great haircut. It ain't going to save her. We'll just put that back on there and say, I may not like the covers, but I do like the engine. Let's take it up on the rack and look underneath. Well, we've got the M35 up on the rack, and this is the part that I love, the mechanics. You look at the beautiful use of aluminum, lower and upper control arms in the front, keep the unsprung weight down, and of course gives the car a great feel and a great feedback to you, the driver. Now you move back to the center transfer case here that pushes the power front and back. Now a little bit about the all-wheel drive system. It is an active system that uses sensors on all four corners to make sure it's putting the power where you need it and keep you on the road. Nice dual exhaust system that moves back underneath to the rear independent suspension. And again, you got to look at the use of aluminum and the design here with the multi-link rear suspension it gives the car this great feedback a rewarding drive and again I'm coming back to my problem why does all this technology and all these great mechanics not get me excited well I'm about to answer that question right now well you've heard me complain about why isn't this car grabbing me and making me love it well it's got great mechanics and it's got great electronics but what's not grabbing me is the exterior styling. It's very vanilla, very plain. There's no big cut line in the middle. There's nothing that jumps out at you. Now, when I look at some of the stuff that's come from Nissan lately, like the brand new 370Z, I look at that aggressive styling and say, why didn't Infiniti grab that stuff? Well, there is one saving grace. It's inside. The first thing you're going to notice when you jump in the M35 is the command deck, this array of buttons that, even though seem a little overwhelming, are actually pretty intuitive. I mean, you can't get much more easy than mode, temp, on, off, route, your info, phone, all the goodies are right there in front of you, and it is easy to use. Great little note, it is the bird's eye style view navigation system, you can see it there with the icon, really does make it easier to grasp where you're going. You move through beautiful wood material on the center console here, and it covers through, place to put the V's so of course, heated and cooled seats, and this is where you stow the DVD system, and that's one of the crown jewels of the M35, which is that rear entertainment center, but for right now, let's get on the road. Now that 303 horsepower gets right to you and tells you this car wants to get up and go. Now the turn in, the feel behind this car is really one of the high points. I've had a little bit of an issue with the exterior styling, but you know what, if you're judging this car by what you get from driver input, the feel, the way the car talks to you, you're certainly going to be happy. But really, this car also has a dual personality. We're going to jump in the back seat, check out the luxury side. Well, one of the beauties is the in-car entertainment that the M35 has. It starts out with a 5.1 Bose surround system, and it goes into even the comfort you have in the back seat. I mean, these are full recline. You can move this up and just recline back. I mean, this thing is truly a lot of luxury car, and that's the high point. You have the audio controls right here, remote for the DVD. I can put that down right in front of me. It's gonna kind of block the view of me, but I will tell you this. You want to go down the road and make sure that you're asking for a great coupon? This is the car to do it in.